question number one says, a ball is thrown up vertically at 20 meters per second. How high will the ball go? So the first thing you might want to do when you draw this, um, to complete this problem, is to draw a picture. So the ball is being thrown upward with a velocity of 20 meters per second. Now, you have to notice that the velocity is positive because the ball is going upward. If you would have dropped the ball and thrown it downwards, your velocity would have been negative and you would have taken that into the equation. So when we look at all of our linear equations, we have our list of five equations that we go through. Um, we have final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2ax. We have x equals x initial plus v initial t plus one half at squared. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. And we have other formulas that should be on your formula sheet. When we're going through this question, it says, how high will the ball go? So we're looking for our height, which is x. And it's in terms of meters. So we want to know everything um, that we have, we have already. So we know that we have an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. We are looking for a distance. We know because we're throwing something in the y direction that our acceleration is always gravity. So we have to assume this right off the bat, and gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the last thing we know is when the ball hits the peak at the top of the trajectory that the final velocity of the ball at the top is zero meters per second. So now we know Vf equals zero meters per second. So we go to our equation list and we see that Final velocity squared, which is zero, equals initial velocity squared, plus 2ax. We have everything we need to solve for the height, so we can go ahead and plug all of our numbers in. If we rearrange everything for x, make sure you see that you leave the negative in for the 9.8 meters per second squared because we subtract the initial velocity to the other side so that we get a positive um, height or a positive time maybe because we can never get a negative time in such questions. So it ends up looking like negative 400 meters squared per second squared divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We can see that the units cross out here, second squared cross out, and the meters is going to cross out. And we are going to get a final distance of 20.4 meters. And we can see our units cross out and our negative signs cross out. So the answer choice for question number one is A, 20.4 meters.